Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be testing another engine on the new Mammod Fuel Gel, which is the replacement for the Mammod Fuel Tablets since they are now illegal in the United Kingdom. In the previous video, I tested it on the Mammod Miner 2, quite a simple small steam engine. Now I'm taking it up a notch, quite a few notches actually, to a Kenneth Welsh traction engine. This is quite a new one actually, well in the sense that it hasn't been run much, so it still needs running in, so it'll be a good test for it. So, Without further ado, let's fill the boiler up, light the fire, lubricate the engine, and see if we can get it running. So first we've got to take the safety valve off. And fill it with water. Once again, I'm using cold water. So, let's fill the boiler up. That should be enough, I can always put some more in later. Okay, so now let's get this spirit burner filled up. Probably get a fair bit in this actually because of how it's built, so let's put some Namod fuel gel in. Okay, so that's now in there. It might settle down a bit if it, if more room comes back and I want to put some more in. Let's just make sure I can go in without touching the top. Yeah, I need to flatten that out a bit, I think. So let's get the get this tray in. And now we're gonna light the fire. Oop. Ah. Stupid wasp. Honestly, these wasps are everywhere in Darlington. Well they're everywhere everywhere anyway, but you know. Let's light the fire. Is that lit now? Might be. Give it a minute and we'll find out. So let's lubricate the engine. Okay, so it's got to get a bit of oil and piston on the cross head. Not the cross head, sorry, the port face. On the crank. And on the bearings. So let's just wait for some steam to build. So yes, the fuel tablet is indeed lit. You can probably just about to see the heat waves come off the boiler. I can feel it there. I'll put my hand over. The only, one problem I've found with this gel is if it's a light day like this, you, the flame is practically invisible, which can pass as a safety thing, but you know, it's it's not a big deal, to be honest. So it's probably best to do this inside, but let's just see if we can get some steam raised. You just supposed to see the heat waves coming off the border there. Well, it's still taking its time, it's still not quite there, so I figured I might just do something to entertain myself whilst I'm waiting for the Kenneth to build steam. That's more like it. Okay, so we're up to steam, hopefully, so we're going to see if we can run the engine. The engine's certainly a bit tight because it's barely ever run on steam, apparently, so I'm going to make sure it's well lubricated still.
you see, it did run quite well there, but I think it exhausted itself, so we're going to let it build up a bit more steam. Yeah, the fire went out, so we need to put some more fire in. That's why it didn't. Uh... Yeah, so the fire, the sink, the first fill up didn't wasn't enough to get engine going. But you know, we'll put some more in and see if I can get it going. Okay, so now we'll just put some more fuel in. Alright, get the fire relit. Is that lit? Yes, that is lit, I think. Well, I blew it out in the smoke, so it was lit. So the piston isn't a brilliant fit on the cylinders, you can see, but that, sh that shouldn't be a big problem. Not an engine like this anyway. Okay, we're going to give it a go now. The fire's going out now. I think, considering the engine has only even seen the handful of times when he's running in, I'm pretty impressed. It certainly ran smoothly. Well, thanks for watching, and if you have any more suggestions for engines to test on the new gel, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.